Ha. So I've done a video on this before, a uh, dustless item filter, and it was a little while ago. It was really just a proof of concept thing. Can it be done? Can it not be done? Is it viable? Is it not viable? The answers were it could be done, but it wasn't really viable. It didn't buy you anything extra. In fact, it introduced toggle states and some pistons pushing blocks. It, it wasn't great. But this topic has come up again lately, and a player by the name of Yeller has released a video showing off a dustless item filter. Well, it wasn't really dustless. That's not 100% true. It was dustless as long as it wasn't one wide tileable. It could be dustless and it could be one wide tileable, but it couldn't be both. So I thought, you know what, maybe it's time I updated my design, given that we have things like copper bulbs and new mechanics introduced. I won't bore you with all the steps leading up to what the final design was. We went through a few iterations. We had some problems with hopper hashing, but we got it sorted out. And between myself, Data, Inspector Talon, Andrews, and Monica, this is what we came up with. Here it is, a completely dustless, one wide tileable item filter. The filter hopper is set up like this, just like any other Signal Strength 3 item filter. And what happens is if you add an item to it, the signal strength changes and it triggers the, the sorting mechanism and pulls the one item out. You could fill it up entirely and it'll act just like a regular SS3 filter. So how does this work? Well, this dropper is in a budded state and we know that comparators output updates. Even if you can't visually see the update occurring, it happens when there is a change in signal strength from the container that it's reading. So when this hopper goes from SS2 to SS3, it outputs an update, which updates this bud, and then it resets itself. By triggering this copper bulb, it'll either power on or off this block that's in the QC position, which will then require another update for the dropper to then trigger again. So you'll get one trigger when you increase the signal strength and you'll get a second trigger when it decreases down to the 41 items. The last thing we fixed here was the hopper hashing. And I'm not gonna get into what hopper hashing is, it's a pain. But Monica showed us that we could pre-schedule this comparator with the signal from the observer to then read the copper bulb behind it. So we have to power into a solid block with the copper bulb on the other side, and that gives us the correct timings to then release the hopper below and re-trigger it once the signal strength reduces. And that's all there is to it. This thing is one wide tileable, it is entirely dustless, it is mostly silent other than the sound of the copper bulbs themselves, but those are pretty quiet. This composter here helps deal with the sound from the dropper. So you put in an item that can't be inserted into a composter and that dropper then becomes silent. So we don't get any noise from that whatsoever. Let's go take a look at a scaled up version and let's see what the lag impact looks like in comparison to a standard SS3 filter setup. Okay, so I've scaled up 16 of these things side by side. Um, the bit at the bottom here is just so we can trash the items once they've been collected. This isn't required, this is just for testing purposes. This is all you need for the actual item filter and sorting system itself. Same water stream setup, nothing fancy. I am using a new item aligner that was created by Eric, I think is how you say the name. And this thing's a whole other story, but it it's so simple and good that it makes me angry that I didn't figure this thing out first. Anyways, let's put items in. Uh, I'm gonna make sure my counters are clear. There we go. And we're gonna do this chest, which has three sets of 64 of all the items in that sorter. And then we'll run a tick warp and we'll see what it looks like. Tick sprint, I should say. That gets pretty loud. This really won't take long. It's gonna go through three times. It's gonna pop up a number in milliseconds per tick. And then we're going to measure it in comparison to the standard set of SS3 filters over there, as well as a baseline. So we're 1,592 ticks per second, 0.63 milliseconds per tick. 
let's go see what the SS3 looks like. And we'll do the same tick warp again. 25,000 ticks. I'll just back away from the sound a little bit so I don't kill your ears. And you can see the, the dust updating along the way. 0.66. So, this is slightly better than an SS3 filter. So it is more lag efficient because there are zero redstone dust updates occurring. However, it's pretty close in comparison because of all the other components that are, that are being used to trigger this. So you'll see all the items in the chests here on the dustless version. Sorry if the sounds there are probably a little loud, but um, I just wanted to do this quick and not and not fuss with the sound too much. That'll trash all the items for us. And now they're gone and counted. And let's run our counter here. Yep, same number of items across the board. 192 in each one. We'll also run a quick control that's not using the sorter, but does use the same cl uh, dropper clock setup. We'll just back away again. So our control comes in at about 0.57. We had, what, 0.63 over here and 0.66, I think. Anyway, marginal difference in lag. We'd also probably recommend against using toggle states, even with the copper bulb. The only scenario in which you would want to use this is, you know, it's cool. There's no dust. It is a modernized version of the item filter, which has not changed in 10 plus years. There is a alternative version to this if you want to build it and show it off to your friends. It uses some pretty cool redstone technical components like the QC and BUD and the comparator pushing the update through um, the signal strength of the container in front of it. But that's really all it is. It's just cool. Shave off this bottom part. This is your sorter. And again, it's truly one wide tileable and uses actually no dust, no dust updates. This is as good as it gets. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so.